Kachow! Wada Games has just dropped an announcement that is very likely going to affect you and very likely going to affect the entire video game collecting market. So let's talk about it. Thank you to every single Patreon who helps support the channel as well as the YouTube members. I can't do it without you guys. And Wada Games just dropped a new pricing structure. $50 slow tier, $80 middle tier, and $175 for the fastest. And the big thing with this new pricing structure is it pertains to everything. There is no more designation between vintage and modern. They are all treated the same as well as complete inbox games. You heard that correctly. You can now grade a complete inbox video game any generation for as low as 50 with CGC, the price to grade a complete box is either 80 or 100 at minimum. So I'm sure your brain is already figuring out how that's going to affect things, but we'll talk about that more in just a bit. For sealed games specifically, it now does become $10 more expensive to submit your modern games, and it becomes $10 cheaper to submit your vintage games. Speedrun and Warp Zone, the faster options, also do come down in price. It's also worth noting that sticker removal has returned for the low, low fee $40?! I'm pretty sure this fee used to cost $25 and it has been removed for almost a year now, maybe over a year. So it is good to see it back, but yes, it is going to come at a charge. It also does state that not every sticker is guaranteed to be removed and it is at the discretion of WADA if they will even attempt to do a removal. We're all very familiar at this point as to what happened with Cool Trainer Ryan and his Pokemon Red. Let's go back to complete and box grading now. For $50, you can get any CIB game graded, but this does come with some changes. The biggest change of which is that there is now CIB standard grading and CIB plus grading. This nice little chart here breaks down the changes between each of the services, but the big things of note are for the standard CIB $50 grading, you're no longer going to have the variance of the cartridge and the manual listed on the label, which sounds like a big deal, but it isn't really a huge issue to me. Any game that has improper pieces matched together is still going to be labeled, so there's no risk of buying an item that isn't actually a matching complete in box game. The other big distinction between these two services and the one that I think matters more is they have now locked GSI's game-specific inserts behind a paywall. This means if you choose standard CIB grading, they will no longer put on the back of the label if your Chrono Trigger game, for example, has the posters or registration card included. GSI's will no longer be graded unless you pay for the CIB grading plus service. Of course, a ton of games exist that do not come with any posters or registration cards or anything like that where this doesn't really matter. But if you're into collecting vintage CIBs, then you also know a ton ton of these games do include specific inserts and as far as CIB collecting goes these inserts have a lot of individual value. I know this channel mostly covers sealed and graded video games but I have been a CIB collector for almost 15 years now. I have spent a lot of time and money searching for certain registration cards. So CIB plus service is an additional $50 on top of the CIB pricing. So you'd be looking at $100 if you want to get your GSIs denoted on the label as well as the variants for the manual and the cartridge as well as pre-grading photos of all of the components. Obviously, I can only assume that we're going to see games that have the CIB plus grading service outsell counterparts that do not have it done. And the market is going to decide how much does it value GSIs. Maybe we'll see in the future that people don't care about additional posters. Maybe the box manual and cartridge will be enough to derive all the value. That's fully going to be for the market to decide. But for myself, if I see a graded complete in box game and on the back, the GSIs are not listed, I'm going to be a lot less interested in buying it. Another thing to note, with CIB grading, they will now be rolling out this light green look for the labels. Sealed games will remain blue. CIB will have this new design here. This, of course, makes it much easier on a glance to know if you're looking at a sealed game or a CIB game. And you can see that this game is using the updated label where all it says is matching components. And I don't think this is a huge deal and is actually probably a good simplification as far as the hobby goes. Because if you talk to general game collectors, general game enthusiasts, most of them have no freaking clue what the manual revisions, cartridge revisions, mean anyway. Here you can see another CIB example, but this one does say 8.5 and the imp is very clear underneath it and the label does say non-matching components and it tells you what the improper item is, which is the disc in this case. And with this update, they are also introducing the genuine GEN designation on games. You can do this for either sealed or complete in box games. Basically, what they're doing is letting you encapsulate your game, get it authenticated, but they are not going to assign a grade. I don't know if I'm going to use this service much myself, 
else, but I see no issue with it either way. If people want to do this, it's awesome. If they don't, doesn't really matter. There's no change in pricing if you choose to go this route instead of normal grading. So something like this might be used for childhood games, maybe something that matters a lot to you, but you don't really want to tack on a grade because the grade isn't the point of why you're submitting it. So talking about this from a more general market stance now, and why I think this really does matter is we're talking about $50 complete in box grades. And my thoughts are this is probably going to have an effect that does raise the cost of complete in box or cartridge based games. As it stands, as it has been for the past year, two years, I think, complete in box grading has been locked at $175 at WADA. At that price, you can basically only submit if you have truly expensive, truly mint stuff. As such, CIB grading hasn't really caught on. It's remained pretty niche, but this now does open it up to a ton of people immediately. What I assume we're going to see is a bunch of people sending off stuff from their own personal collections to get graded either to resell or to keep. I don't know what they're going to do, but we are going to see a ton more submissions now of CIB stuff from those people. And we're also going to see a wave of reselling and speculation hit CIB and cartridge based games on people who are going to send them off for grading and try to turn a profit. Now, how feasible is that going to be? It depends how crazy people want to get buying graded CIB stuff simply because it's been graded. So with CIB stuff, if we begin seeing a whole bunch of this hitting the market, I expect the first to market stuff to do well and saturation is inevitably going to occur, especially on the 7.0, 8.0 type stuff, probably even 8.5 type stuff on vintage games, on cardboard games. I don't think 8.5 is going to be safe enough if we're just talking about the pure supply that could exist and get sent into grading in the short term. It's a very common complaint of people to say, oh, sealed games, graded games are the reason I can no longer afford to buy opened or cartridge based games. Sealed and graded games have ruined the entire market where really the sealed and graded market has kind of only affected sealed and graded prices. The prices of complete and box games, cartridge based games, those moved based on their own factors and the own people within those collecting hobbies buying off of each other, speculating, reselling. But now with CIB grading being affordable and potentially about to catch on, these people are probably going to have a point. I do think this change in the price of CIB grading is going to lead the general market to go up in price, much to the dismay of people who just want to buy a game to play it. How much will that effect be? How popular is CIB grading going to be? We're going to have to wait and see for the answers on those. I can absolutely tell you that I will be sending in some CIB stuff for grading. I have been waiting for the price to go down for a very long time now. Let me know if you'll be submitting as well. Let me know what you think of the changes here that WADA has announced, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.